GCSE English Literature, Much Ado About Nothing, Act 2, Scene 3, Summary, Themes and Quotes. So in this video we're going to look at the themes, the key events summarised and the key quotes of the scene. So here are the four main themes of Much Ado About Nothing, Family, Marriage, Warfare and Deception. So let's look at the key events. So alone in Leonardo's garden, Benedict is complaining how Claudio has become a lover and is planning on getting married. He contrasts the accessories of war with the accessories of love. Benedict wonders if he would ever change his mind on marriage and concludes that it is more likely he would turn into an oyster for he lists every good thing that he requires a good woman to have and it seems quite impossible. Don Pedro, Leonardo and Claudio enter the garden. Benedict hides behind some trees and they pretend not to notice him there. So there is an idea of deception here. They talk somberly about Beatrice's love for Benedict and swears her love is past the infinite of thought. So endless. She swears not to reveal her love for him as she writes letters to him every night. So in fact, Beatrice actually has never told these people this and she does not love him that much. They are simply using deception to reel Benedict in. They each decide that Benedict is not worthy enough for her and actually convinces Benedict who says when I said I would die a bachelor I did not think I should live till I were married. So we can see here that the deceptive plan works and Benedict is now interested in getting married to Beatrice. Beatrice then enters and with her usual nastiness is surprised at Benedict's kindness to her. So Beatrice is being quite rude but Benedict because he's heard of this love he's been quite nice to her. Despite her rudeness, Benedict interprets everything she says with double meaning since she loves him so much. So let's look at the quotes of the scene. One woman is fair, yet I am well. Another is wise, yet I am well. Another is virtuous, yet I am well. But till all graces be in one woman, one woman shall not come in my grace. So here we see the social pressures put on Benedict for despite his contempt and his uh, persona against marriage, he now contemplates it. He soliloquizes in Leonardo's garden, which means he does a whole dialogue of speech by himself or just towards the audience. And Benedict is frustrated that Claudio, whom he considered to be a uh, a perennial bachelor, which means a bachelor forever, so to remain unmarried, and constructs a perfect woman and what they should be. So if you found this video helpful, be sure to hit subscribe and comment down below any video requests. Thank you for watching and see you soon.